Hi children, we have studied angle properties of parallel lines and a triangle. Let us do the textbook problems of page number 31, 32, the first three problems. The first question is, find out the pairs of parallel lines in the figure below. The first line is AB. And which is the line parallel to this AB? So, it may be, GH may be. Let us see. Looking at these two lines, we can say that the uh, co-interior angles are supplementary. Co-interior angles are supplementary here. So, AB is parallel to GH. Similarly, this 80 degree and this 100 degree, 180 degree. So, the other pair is CD and MN. And the third pair is obviously this EF and M A L K. Why? See the symbol 90 degree. Here, the symbol 90 degree. These two are perpendicular lines to this line. So, these lines are parallel. And we can say that the AB is parallel to GH, CD is parallel to MN and EF is parallel to LK. co interior angles are supplementary. Here also co interior angles are supplementary. 90 plus 90 equal to 100. 80 degree. So, the we got the pairs of parallel lines. The second question is, in the figure below, A, B and C, D are parallel. Compute all the angles in the figure. Here, what are given here? We can draw a figure and we can first find out the third angle, this angle. What is this angle? Two of the angles are given here. Angle EAB is equal to 70 degree. Angle EBA is equal to 60 degree. The sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degree. So, angle AEB is equal to 50 degree. That you have to write there. Okay, 50 degree. Now, the same color angles, same colored angles. What is the characteristic of these two angles? These are corresponding angles in parallel lines. Corresponding angles in parallel lines are equal. So, these two angles are equal. So, angle EAB is equal to 70 degrees. So, angle CED is equal to 70 degree. So, let us write that angle ECD -E is equal to 70 degree reason. The lines are parallel and corresponding angles are equal. So, the third one is, next one is the same, same type of angles. Here also, what type of angles are these? We have studied corresponding angles in parallel lines are equal. So, here it is 60 degree, here also it will be 60 degree. So, we have to write it. What is the name of that angle? Angle EDC. EDC is equal to 60 degree reason. Angle ABE is equal to 60 degree. Then to the lines are parallel. Corresponding angles are equal. Then next one is two more angles we have to find out. This we can write it down. Two more angles, we have to find it out. Which are these angles? Here, this angle. What is the measure of this angle? We can take this as very easily as a linear pair. And this also is a linear pair. So, this one is 110 plus 70, 180. And this one is 120. 180 minus 60 is equal to 120 degree. So, that we can write it down. 110 and 120 degree and otherwise we can write in this way also. Co-interior angles in parallel lines are supplementary. These are supplementary angles. Anyway, we will get the answer as 
110 degree and 120 degree. So, angle ACD is equal to 100. ACD is equal to 110 degree. The reason here it is written as linear pair of angle ECD. Then any of the reasons you can write. Anyway, the answer is the angle BDC is equal to 120 degree linear pair of angle EDC. The linear pair of this angle is EDC. Then the third question is in the figure below a parallelogram is divided into four triangles by the diagonals. Calculate the angles of all these triangles. This is a parallelogram. P, Q, R, S. Here to name them. Then here it is T. Diagonals. The line joining the opposite vertices of a quadrilateral here. Parallelogram. So four triangles are formed. Then here in this small triangle. Two of the angles are given. How will you find out the third angle? We know that sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So, angle P, Q, T is equal to 180 minus 115. 90 plus 25, 115 equal to 65. So, this answer is 65 degree. And... The next triangle. Let us take the opposite triangle first. So, what would be the angles? From this figure, it is very clear. These two lines are parallel. Opposite sides of a parallelogram. And this angle is 25 degree. So, what would be this angle? Here 25 degree. Here also 25 degree. Here we got 65 degree. Here 65 degree. So, what would be this angle? 65 degree. Alternate angles of a or parallel lines are equal. So that we can write. So 65 in the uh, angle TSR is equal to 65 degree and angle SRP is equal to 25 degree. Then reason also you have to write down. Then the two, uh, 90 degree that we have told. Then, in this triangle, in this triangle, this angle is, what is the measure of this angle? Here it is 90 degree. Here it is 90 degree. Here also 90 degree opposite angle. And here, this linear pair of this one or linear pair of this one. Anyway, the angle is 90 degree and this angle is 25 degree. 90 plus 25, 115 degree. And the third angle is 65 degree. That you have to write here. Angle TQR. Angle TQR is equal to 65 degree. So all these three angles we got. And we have to get the angles in this triangle. Angles in this triangle. This angle is 90 degree. Linear pair of this angle. Or opposite angle. Anyway, this angle is 90 degree and then in this figure, these two lines are parallel. And what type of angles are these in parallel lines? Alternate interior angles are equal. So, these angles are equal. So, here it is 65 degree. So, here 65 degree and here it is 25 degree and here 25 degree. So, we have to write it down, name of the angles. Angle QSP, angle QSP is equal to 65 degree or we can write angle TSP. Anyway, no problem. Then angle, next one, angle SPT, SPT is equal to 25 degree. Reason also we have to write down and this opposite angles or linear pair of angle STR 90 degree. 
so we have found out the answer of the first three problems now you can do very easily the next two problems problem number 4 and 5 in your textbook do it okay bye